Hey guys, it's Angie from the Squishy Monster, and today we're going to make a Korean side dish that I grew up eating a lot. And I don't know if I mentioned this in other videos, but when I was growing up and my mom would be really busy, sometimes we would just eat rice with kimchi or rice with um, spam. Don't tell anybody, but we ate a lot of spam. And um, we ate um, a lot of like seaweed wraps, but also with the wraps, we would also have this. And it's just basically stir fried, sweet and salty, kind of like a nice balance between the two uh, stir fried anchovies. So in my household, we usually have two types. We have the little tiny ones. And sorry if this grosses you out, but this is something that I ate a lot of and I'm very fond of it. So we have the little tiny ones. And then we also have the large anchovies. And this I like to eat straight up with rice after it's been stir fried. And these I like to go ahead and kind of fillet, of, kind of it's dried. And I like to go ahead and make stocks with it. It makes really yummy stocks and it's the base of a lot of Korean um, seafood or fish soups or um, even vegetable soups. It imparts a really nice flavor to it. So, you know, it shouldn't be something that you're scared of. You know, Italian food uses a little a lot, you know, Caesar dressing. I mean, it, it's just something that should be a staple in your pantry or your refrigerator because it really imparts really nice, delicious flavor. So here we have our little dried baby anchovies. And if you look really carefully, um, in the net, they also caught tiny little crabs. So I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, in here, I have the sauce. So in here is just soy sauce, sesame oil, honey, sugar, and sesame seed. And traditionally, a lot of old school Korean ladies will make it with corn syrup, but I think that honey is really nice, and I don't see why you wouldn't use honey, and especially since I always have honey. And I don't really have cornstarch, so I'm using honey. And just a side note, if you don't have these, because these tend to be a little bit more expensive because they're harder to, I guess, get or fish for. If you have these, I found these like everywhere. There's a plethora of these gigantic ones. And how you prepare these is you want to just take the head off like that. And then basically they're so brittle and dry, they'll just kind of split up like that and take out the stuff inside. And then what, you're, what you end up with are these two filet halves. And this, just like a little handful or so, will make such a wonderful broth, and that's how you do it. And so if you don't wanna, or you can't find the little ones, you can just use these in the same sauce. So in a dry pan, just like you would nuts, you wanna go ahead and toast these, just to enhance the flavor. So go ahead, and this will take about five to six minutes or so, and you just wanna keep your eye on them, because you want them to just, you know, um, gain a little bit of color. You don't want them to be like crispy or burning or anything like that. So just keep them moving around every so often and just toast them for that amount of time. And then basically it's really super easy. I love this panchan because it comes up so quickly and it's so delicious to me anyways. So when it's gained some color like this, it's got a little tan. <laughs> Go ahead and drizzle on that sauce. And the sugars and the honey will start caramelizing and becoming like a little bit sticky. And I love that about this because it's crunchy, it's texturally interesting, and it's got like a nice uh, salty bite from the soy sauce, some smokiness from the sesame oil, and the sweetness, the sugary, sticky sweetness from the honey and the sugar mixed together. I love this. So go ahead and let this cook off until most of the wet, the liquid has kind of evaporated. All right, so here it is. So if you've got five minutes and you aren't afraid of trying new and different things, definitely give this one a try. And I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit more sesame seeds. You don't have to do this, but I really like this, especially because it's got that nice, um, just crunch to it. It's got lots of textural things going on. I love it. So I'm gonna go in there and get some. Oops. Mmm. It's nutty. It's not fishy at all. And it's got such a nice dose of protein. This is such a quick, simple, and healthy lunch. I love it. This is actually what I'm having for lunch today. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Anyways, I hope you guys try this. This is the Squishy Monster, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!